morning. It's currently 7 a.m. and I've got a yoga class to get to in half an hour. I just woke up, opened my blinds, and I thought we we're gonna get some sun today, but no. UK, overcast, rainy, freezing. I don't know where spring is. I'm just praying to God that spring is on her way. In her absence, I'm gonna be trying to muster up the positive energy from here. Today I'm just gonna be taking you along with me for a little productive routine. I'm trying to get back on that grind. I'm talking work, study, fitness, healthy meals, organization. I need to get my life together. Step number one, a little bit of dental hygiene. I have Invisalign, let's pop them out. Giving them a clean. I don't really clean them ever. Brush them teeth. <laughs> little flosser thing. Tongue scrape, mouthwash. My yoga class actually comes free with the gym membership at my local gym and I got some new workout sets to try so let's do a little try on. Two tops, long sleeve, gym top, little cut out in the back, this tank. I feel like it's such a cold day that I kind of want to go for the long sleeve. Ta -da! Yeah, I love this one. That's so cute. Everything's from Gymshark by the way. Let's pack a bag. Scrunchie, water bottle, earplugs, keys and gym pass, gym lock, yoga mat. I always start my day with a to-do list. Sometimes I plan out my to-do list the night before so that it's like a cheat sheet. I wake up and I've already got everything that I need to do. Today I've got have a healthy breakfast. I've got a job interview today at lunchtime. I also have some app design work that I need to do. I've already done my yoga class so we can take that off the list. That planner on my phone is called X Tiles and it's a digital planner. I'm loving it for planning out goals and to-dos. I may have a free version. Thank you to X Tiles for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you work in a creative job or you just carry your to-do list in your head, you have got to give x a try. Especially since I work from home as a freelancer and I study in my own time, I need a little bit of structure in my life. The totally intuitive drag and droppable interface scratches something in my brain and it's so much easier to pick up than some other programs that need a little bit more of a learning curve. It puts my chaotic life into structured tables and lists. You can keep track of goals, schedules, timescales, track appointments, to-do lists all in one place. And don't worry, you can also make it super Super cute with embedded widgets, pictures, bookmarks, fun colors. Here, have a look. Oh, that's pretty sick. <laughs> also, between you and me, sometimes I need a little bit of boundaries. I need work time and me time. So x is great for separating work goals and personal goals. For instance, on one page, I could have everything dedicated to work. And then on another page, I could have my personal goals, like going to the gym or my meal plan for the week. So then we have good work-life balance boundaries going on. Okay, next up on my to-do list, Breakfast, shower, get ready for work. Check out X Tiles, link in my description. So I'm just getting through a couple emails to start off my day, but if you're new to the channel or you're new to the role of an app designer, I'll tell you a little bit about what I do in my job day to day. So my job is essentially designing app screens. So when you open an app, what you see, what buttons you touch, what they look like, how it functions, how easy it is to use. If you've ever opened an app and you think to yourself like this is so dated and so old looking and it's horrible to use, it doesn't function properly, like my job to avoid doing that and keep things modern, sleek and seamless and intuitive. It's a very creative job and also very psychological. I have to get into the mind of all the different kinds of users who are gonna use the app from all different walks of life. Anyway, I'm just gonna reply to some of these emails, tick that off the list and then get into some design work.
Cheers. It's lunchtime and I'm about to log on to my interview. I'm kind of nervous, but mostly excited. This rules come about, lead designer. Sure thing, so I'm Lily, I'm a product designer. Currently I'm working on improving the accessibility of software at enterprise level. It's, it's next to the enemy, we looked at maybe doing a wee office shared off. Yeah, I actually got into it a really weird way. So I started out as a tattoo artist. The tattoo studio wanted me to help with their website, so I did. And I found that I really loved it as well. I was just quite naturally good at it. And that's kind of what led me down this path. Thanks, yeah, it's nice to meet you, thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I just had the best interview of my life. Like, I have never felt so confident in an interview. I, I am that boss bitch. I just ran out and got some supplies, some dishwash, some dishwash? No, laundry detergent liquid. Um, I got some light bulbs because I have a salt lamp, a Himalayan salt lamp that the light bulb broke and I just never repaired for ages. So I'll get her back up and running. I went to the charity shop also and got this cute little sweater. I mean, it looks kind of granny-ish, but like I see a vision, okay? I'll show you the vision later. Package arrived for me in the mail. These little microphones. I thought we'd give it a try. Plug this into the camera. It's plugged in, can you hear me? I think you can. <laughs> so cute. But I thought it's just so much easier to just have a chat and sit down and talk to you. Let's do a little keyboard typing check. I've just plugged in this light here and can someone please tell me why this happens? Oh, that's horrible. I got the right bit, E14 size, a little screw cap, but I, I have not been able to find the right lights for this. Please help me. I love old Disney movies. So I'm just finishing up a design, a form where you can submit an inquiry. I wanted to talk to you guys about something. I work from home pretty much every day and I get a little bit lonely in here. I would love a little companion wandering around, but I feel like a puppy would be a bit too much high maintenance for me right now. I'm still young. I got things I gotta do. I got places I need to be. I got trips I need to go on. Like a puppy is like having a baby. They need a lot of attention, need a lot of walks and exercise and mental stimulation. I wouldn't mind a bit of a cuddly cat, but I'm not too sure like what kind of breed I've been thinking about. Maybe a British short hair or a ragdoll. Kind of cuddly, but also they can kind of do their own thing. If you if you have a cat, can you please let me know like what is the pros and what is the cons to having a cat? Everything would get covered in cat hair, right? But yeah, I was looking on Gumtree for cats, for kittens, and there was a couple litters that I've been viewing. I'll see if I have any pictures. So cute. Oh my God. Look cute they are. This is the little one I was looking at to possibly get. Um, and then this one, she was already taken. Well, she'd been reserved, but I really felt like a connection with her. I don't know. I kind of need the connection to be there before I actually put down the money for a cat. Like I want the kitten to choose me. Anyway, I'm just finishing up this design. Kind of boring stuff, just like a form 
form where you put your name and your contact details and your question. We are almost done for the day. A little bit more design work, finish that off, do some finishing touches, and then I think I'm gonna do a little journal entry. It's been a while since I wrote in my journal and I have a bunch of little bits of papers and receipts and scraps of stuff that I really need to paste into my journal and a couple of things that I wanna write about and get off my chest. This is my journal. It is pretty plain right now, but I do intend to put some pictures and stuff on the front. I'll show you what I've got currently in here. A little journal tour. Little pictures and Polaroids and 2024 goals. And then the very first page, we've got a couple family photos, a picture of me to remind myself what I looked like at the start of the year and some other little cute bits and pieces that I intend to make a sort of collage with. So. Once I've got them all, I'll stick them in properly. And towards the first pages, we've got some birthday cards from my friends and family. This first page here is with my mom. Just some journaling my thoughts and feelings. I'm gonna cover some of this stuff up because it's really personal. But you can see that I just sort of stick in like receipts and movie tickets and everything. And letters that I write and letters that are written to me. This is sort of where we're at now. I was starting to make a page on what is happening in the world right now in 2024 and a page about my um, trip to the Hong Kong market. So I think we'll finish this page off. I got this little roll of washi tape at the Hong Kong market with my friend Beth. Covered in little blue flowers, I think it's so cute, but we'll put a little bit of this in this page. I heard for some people journaling can be kind of stressful, but for me, it's totally the opposite. I'm a super sentimental person and I'm always keeping little souvenirs of my days out with friends just to keep a little time capsule of what my life was like in this moment. I've been journaling since I was 11 years old and I think it's such a good habit to get into. It's like therapy for me. It helped me learn how to reflect and figure out my own emotions when I was younger. All these things can be so easily forgotten when the months and the years roll by and I'm not going to lie, that gives me anxiety. So. It's sort of like a way to cope with the passing of time as well as self-reflect and get my feelings out. If you also want to get into journaling, I could make a little video about that too. I always read my comments, so let me know if you want a video like that in the comments. Good evening. I switched back over to this mic because I'm not too sure how I feel about the other mic yet. It needs a little bit of troubleshooting. Maybe I just need to hold it closer to my mouth. I don't know. I'm really, really tired. Probably gonna go to bed soon, but before I go to bed, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I posted this story on Instagram uh, asking some of you guys to send me some of your design portfolios, your creative portfolios, your CVs and stuff so that I could give you guys a little bit of advice because I know you guys love watching this sort of creative industry that I'm in and I thought I might be able to give it some advice on some of your portfolios. I randomly selected Selected a bunch of people who DM'd me and looked at their portfolios. I've got three people to look at today. I might do some more on in the next video. Let's get into it. First up we have Linda Chirico. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. We've got your portfolio here. This is a really, really sleek portfolio. Um, dedicated websites. You can clearly see the projects come up here. Let's just pick a project and go into it. A really good like splash screen hero design showing off the sort of UI. And then you scroll down and you can see her role, her responsibilities, her project brief, the methodology that was used to get to that design. That's a really, really good start. Just at a glance, I'd like to see a little bit more about something that went wrong or something that you had to change. Uh, you've got very in-depth personas based on research, based on a survey that you did, which is great. We wanna see research, we wanna see data statistics, how you got your design from data, and some competitive analysis, you mapped out a flow, which is really good. Yeah, I'd like to see some more like, oh, this happened during the design process, so I had to pivot, I had to change, or this is something that I was thinking of doing and I decided to go a different way because of this reason. Lots and lots of wireframes. I think you don't, you don't need that many wireframes in there, as well as all the screens you designed. Really, really sleek. I really love the way that you have simplified the process for the user. The user isn't lost. They can clearly see it takes four steps to do the task that they need to do, which is really, really good. Really simple, clear. It gets you to complete the task that you need to complete. A back button is important. It gives the user the psychology that they can leave at any time, which actually um, prompts the user to keep going. The text here is a little bit small. I'd like to know what 
size point that is. It just looks a little off center. I'm not sure. Maybe the text bubble needs to be more like aligned with the text. There's not much negative here. Like there's not really much I can say to improve upon. Like it's a really good design. This enter pickup address might be better as a postcode. Enter your postcode and then an auto suggest of addresses comes up. Um, this style guide of colors, it just looks like every color in the universe. I'd like to see a more like concise version of that. The component here cuts off a little bit, maybe a scrolling, some sort of scroll to see like more of what that component could be. And I'd also like to see some sort of summary, like in conclusion, this is what came out of it. And this is what I learned, like maybe three or four learning points from doing this project. Good design, Linda. Next up, we've got Rifat Sadid. I think that's how you pronounce that. We're looking at a web design this time. So let's go in, indoor plant landing page. So again, we've got like a gorgeous hero splash screen. It looks great, very eye-catching. Let's scroll down to the actual page. So first thing that comes to mind here is there's a lot going on on the screen. I'm not really sure why this top nav bar isn't connected to this little um, utility bit. It would be cool to see them attached or at least the same height. Another thing is these buttons over here for social media. It wouldn't immediately come to my mind that they are clickable. It doesn't really look like they are interactive or clickable here. It might be better to have them in the nav bar. I think it's cool to experiment with design ideas, but for something as utilitarian as a social media link button, it's just usually better to have it um, follow the standards that we're used to. Design is only as good as how usable it is to someone. And if they aren't aware that they can click that, it almost defeats the purpose of it being there in the first place. So I would recommend making this one long nav bar up the top, integrating this little portion into it and adding the social media buttons up the top as well. I'm not paying too much attention to the copy. I understand it's just like, it's just sample copy right now. Let me go down to best selling. Okay, we've got some products listed here. I love this. Although I would like to see under the add to cart button, another button that's maybe like see more about the product. There's not really much about the product. And if I was gonna buy a plant, I'd wanna know how intensively does it need watered or is it does it need like full sunlight or is it more of a shady plant? Maybe some icons in the corner to identify that. Maybe like three water droplets, two water droplets and one water droplet, depending on the water it needs. Again, like a button to actually click more into the plant to see a more like detailed care regimen, you know? Maybe the, also a button to favorite the plant if you want to add it to a wish list or something. Cool. Yeah, it looks good. I'm liking it. Okay, testimonials. I think testimonials as a massive focus on the screen like this indicates more of like a service oriented product. So I would really recommend maybe instead of just one hero testimonial, a bunch of different testimonials, more like quantity over quality testimonials here because more of just like a standardized buy it now product rather than like a tailored service. On this one, again, I'd like to see a little bit more about like the process. You've got like the gorgeous design, but a little bit of writing around the process, how you got to these designs, what went into the creative direction, and again, like your lessons learned at the end of the project would be good to know as a portfolio piece. Last portfolio, we've got Leticia Tordato Martarello. Um, let's look at this little eco care baby thing. Oh, okay. So this is more of like a graphic design portfolio piece. Okay, I cannot understand the language, but it's fine. We're just gonna look at designs. Oh, I love that. Showing how the, the logo was made with like symmetry and shapes. I love it, love it, love, 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 love. Oh, this is so cute. Really good mock-ups. Okay, I like it, I like it. Really sorry, I can't actually understand the language, so I don't really know what's being said. I'm gonna put this into Google Translate. In this personal project, I created the EcoCare brand and its visual identity. Focusing on an exclusive product, I also designed a possible line of ecological products for the brand. Ah, so it's like sustainable. I love that. And then you've got the leaf, gorgeous. I tried to convey through the logo and colors the idea of sustainable and comfortable product for the co consumer in a way that drew attention to its purpose and quality. You did a great job of conveying that sort of sustainable element with the leaf. And I love that you've added that bit in the end there of why you did what you did. 
I would like to maybe see some sort of like research, maybe like process shots of where it started out or what you were thinking of and what kind of directions it could have taken, initial sketches, and then how you actually got to that final design, how you decided, yes, that's the one. Cool, thank you guys for your submissions. That was really fun. I will put another thing on my story asking you guys to send some more submissions for the next video. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. Anyway, I am really, really tired. I'm gonna go to bed. I need some sleep but i hope you enjoyed today's video i spent a while editing it go leave a comment down below encouraging me you know i need some motivation to edit the next video i will see you in the next video good night love you